Hey, hello. Woo. Hello, all my island special educators. And it's been almost a month, but we're back and we are better than ever as you can see so that you know you didn't miss me too much okay <laughs> um so yes i went ahead and i created a backdrop i think right now you might be seeing shadows all over the place um but i did create a backdrop and it is made to reflect or it was made with the idea of you know just teacher friendly and so this is what i came up with um i had a whole lot of help with this and so shout out to everybody who really did help me um in terms of just coming up with ideas that really spoke to special education or spoke to creativity or spoke to just colors and everything that i like so thank you guys so much um what we do have here you know i i as i said in my last video i always say welcome my island special educators and that's because you know your girl's an island girl you feel me and i'm an educator and i feel like everybody who is here to share with me is also interested in special education and so you know hence the, the the term or the phrase or the group of us who are island special educators and so here we have our little island with our you know sea and and um <laughs> this is supposed to be my makeshift coconut slash banana slash plant tree yes so our island right here <laughs> and my cute little son I, I do love this island though I do love this tree I had so much help creating this tree but yes and we also have our nice pretty welcome sign and we have some um, little flowers up here special shout out to Leandra because this is her idea um, getting the color into the letters and the hands are all her idea and um over on this side we have our feather of colors just because in special education we need to understand that everybody is different and it's the same thing that is reflected with the hands you know everybody is different and regardless of the difference that everybody has you know we're all human we all come together we all meet a great society and everybody can contribute to that society and um with my tree you know i look on it and i say okay there's so much things there's so many things i look at it and i say there's there's so many things that this tree could possibly turn out to be and <laughs> even if i see it as a coconut tree and you see it as a plant tree and somebody else sees it as a banana tree somebody else sees it as a palm tree then i mean it's okay because it's a tree right and it's either it's going to produce fruit or it's not going to produce fruit or it will definitely give shade one way or the other so that is it for my backdrop i really did enjoy creating this it took me literally it really took me more than three weeks to be honest to do it um but yes i'm grateful for how it turned out i can use it for my classroom everybody knows that we are currently online and so it it, it will help if we ever need to use google meets and that's the second part of the video we'll, we'll be getting into some of the online things that has been happening and how i've been dealing with them and strategies in which you as a special educator can really take over your your title um as an apps coach um to cater to the needs of the students um and the teachers right so in future tense i hope to do get my logo here and um hopefully have the words be bold be beautiful be blessed somewhere if it can hold somewhere here so the second thing i'm going to talk about today 
is online and setting up a classroom online for special educators or apps coaches in specific details apps coaches to cater to the general um, academic staff the teacher staff that uh, an apps coach interacts with all right so the government of jamaica officially started school october 5th and that allowed for us to start going online and creating classrooms and having sending out well started sending out information to our students and having you know some form of interaction with students from that time to now and so as a coach i have been also doing my part and that might include, yes, helping with the IDRIs. And we did speak on what IDRIs are. Please check that out in one of my previous videos. I would say I'm going to link it up here, but I don't know how to do that. So I might figure it out, but who knows, right? All right, so IDRIs, but aside from those, you know, so creating a classroom that teachers can use as a resource room online um in google in google classrooms or google suits whatever it is called we know that all the schools in jamaica are now using google suits and so having a google classroom that caters to resources for teachers is very important and especially as an apps coach right as an apps coach um in this class or in this google classroom you can have all the soft copies of the um, national standards curriculum um, for all the pathways that you do cater to which would be pathways two and three for grade seven and eight and pathway three for grade nine and so all the nscs can be uploaded to that google classroom and grouped so it is so much easier for the teachers to go and search through and get the information that they need to get for the classes that they will be teaching right so go ahead and set up a classroom name it whatever i think i named my classroom teacher and coach planning session just because i am planning on using that classroom as well for my planning sessions and that brings me to the second thing that you can do with your google classroom as a coach you can set up your google classroom to, to facilitate your meeting sessions with your teachers because as we know coaches we're expected to meet and plan um you know differentiating the lesson plans with the teachers and creating our class groups and whatever it is else other support that you can do with the teacher or for the teacher during your planning sessions you're expected to do that and so it would it, it's, it's just efficient to utilize that same meeting area for um or or that that same classroom for our meeting sessions right what I also post in my Google Classroom that I will be using for my meetings and for um, uploading the NSC. I also post um, other resources for the teachers. So I post classroom management strategies. I post, um, what is it called? Brain. Brain, oh brain, where are you? soon tell you I can't remember so I, I just generally post any resource or information that is needed or that might be needed by the teachers um, one thing that I haven't posted as yet but I am intending to post is a sample lesson plan um like a 5e sample lesson plan and that's just because sometimes how a teacher might do a lesson plan you might do it a different way and then they can look on that and just follow some steps and sometimes we all know our brains die on us like mine does for all the time um so you can definitely just create 
a classroom for teachers that they will feel like, oh, I do get support here. If I should log on to this, I can find something. I possibly didn't even know that I needed it, but when I get there, I know that I need it. I also post, um, what do you call it? Like presentations or presentations that I've done in the past. So when I started working here, I did a synthesization on what the program is about. So I posted that presentation. I also posted presentations about um, differentiation. And so that is there. Um, I posted presentations on or documentations to assist with project-based learning. And we all know that project-based learning is incorporated in the NSC. And so that is a big part of the curriculum and applying um applying whatever it is strategies applying strategies to strategies to aid the teachers in creating their plans right so you can go ahead and post any strategy any information any detail anything that you research anything that you find um i know that as coaches we normally have meetings in our regions and so whatever information you get from there can also be posted on this resource in this resource classroom for the teachers to access and at my school we separate the subjects with coaches so there are two coaches there currently and we separate um math science math science that's one coach and then the other coach which is me i have social studies civics and reading and english and so so it's, it's basically social studies and reading and you know english is a part of reading and all that good great stuff and so the teachers um are among us in that way but in terms of my classroom i did just post all the soft copies of the nac and so you can do that and the the, the classroom is actually open to all teachers because the resource is not limited to um just the subjects that i cater to and i do also post <laughs> videos of um this channel there so that because valid valuable information is there for the teachers to access and so i think i posted one of the videos there because it had the information that was needed it i think i went over my backdrop i am in love with it it's very colorful it's it's nice i i love i love seeing it i love the backdrop and so I think, you know, I did a good job with help, of course, with help, I did a good job. And so um, on that note, my backdrop, um, Google Classroom, creating a classroom for special educators um, in the apps coach position, just to create a resource room for the teachers that you interact with and an environment for you to actually meet and plan with them. You can also create an open, open work or assignment because in the Google Classroom, your posts can be you know you just post and then persons can comment so your posts can be commented on so you can also create an open post for persons to feel comfortable in posting there in terms of whatever information that they might need so you can definitely consider doing that and without further ado that's all that i have to say today um have a wonderful week coming next week um continue to just be your best self i mean this is all new to us we're all struggling with this i do not have an handle on it at all um there are still so many things that we need to do as coaches because the next thing that is coming up for us to do is to data collect and analyze and get to send back um to our regions and so that is the next step that's what i'm looking forward to doing now as well as actually get into some serious planning sessions um with the teachers and so that is something to look forward to for next week and just to be positive you won't get it perfect if you get it perfect kudos to you but it's okay to fail and it's okay to try again and it's okay to be you don't forget to be bold in any and everything that you do be blessed 
choose God. <laughs> be beautiful and the beauty isn't what you see on the outside, it is who you are inside that counts. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's the, it's the truth. It is really the truth. And just continue to be the best you. And with that, I'm going to say bye. Shalom, guys. Shalom.